I hope you're in focus, because if you're not, I'm going to cry. Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, I am going to be telling you guys the 10 beauty items that I no longer buy and why. I saw a couple YouTubers doing this and I just wanted to try it out and just let you guys know the things that I've stopped buying. So if you're curious as to see what I am not buying anymore beauty related, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video and we'll get right into it. All right guys, and just bear with me, my camera is trying to focus over here. And there's, I literally moved my sign. See that? Because I don't know what it's doing. I have no idea. I have not, I'm trying to work it out. I have sent Canon an email to try to figure out. So if you are tech savvy, please comment below and let me know what the heck is going on with my camera. It just started doing this. The ISO will just start to adjust itself to freaking 100,000 and I'll be washed out. <laughs> like the sun, I don't know. Let's get into this video. So the first thing that I am no longer buying are cotton pads. And the reason that I don't buy cotton pads anymore is because one, it costs a lot of waste. And I just really felt like I was using so many all the time and I was wasting a lot of money just to buy these and just to throw them out. So what I did was I invested in reusable cotton pads I found on Amazon. They're like, I got tan ones and white ones and they're super soft and they can just be thrown into their bag, into the washer and that's it. Eventually I will have to buy more because I mean, they're gonna get yucky eventually. I just was tired of throwing out and wasting cotton pads that I didn't need when I had when they have reusable ones. So it saves me money and it also saves me from making a lot of waste. I can also use them on my nails when I do my fingernail polish remover. I just use two different sets. I would recommend maybe marking, you know, the tan ones for this and the white ones for that so you're not trying to clean off your makeup with acetone. Um, I just think that's a little overkill for your makeup removing. Um, so the next thing, number two, is makeup removing wipes. It kind of ties into that as well. One, I just feel like makeup removing wipes are extremely wasteful when there are so many other options in our world to use. They, you have the makeup eraser, face halo, I think it's what it's called, the little circle thing. Um, even generic brands on Amazon and Walmart, like there's so many different options. Um, that you really just don't need to be buying makeup wipes and they're just really bad for your face like you're scrubbing and this cloth like you might think that it feels really nice but it's doing a lot of damage to your skin and it's really drying it out and irritating it the more you wipe and scrub with those hard cloths. So the next thing is expensive eyelashes. I no longer buy expensive eyelashes because I have found that a lot of companies now, indie brands, bigger companies, smaller companies are coming out with all of these inexpensive eyelashes that look phenomenal. I went to the dollar store the other day and I got a couple. I'm doing a whole Dollar Tree full face of Dollar Tree makeup and I actually saw a couple pairs and they look stunning. Like I'm so excited to share them with you. I want to see how they work um, because just that they look good. They may not work very well but they're a dollar so I'm just no longer investing in very expensive eyelashes. My cutoff is like 10 to 12 dollars max. I have some Lily lashes that cost me 30 some dollars and I just think it's completely outrageous to be paying that kind of money for lashes that you're going to wear a couple times and then throw out. So number four is going to be subscription boxes. So like Boxy, Ipsy, uh, Allure, all of those subscription boxes. The reason that I canceled all of those and I no longer participate in paying for them is I felt like I was being very wasteful. I think that subscription boxes are really nice for a person who does not have a lot of makeup, who does not have a collection of makeup. However, I think that if you have a decent amount of makeup, you do not need to have a monthly or several monthly subscription boxes sent to you. Uh, packed full of makeup that you're just gonna toss into your collection and move on. So I just feel like I've saved a lot of money and on just buying the things that I actually want versus what I'm getting as a surprise. So the next thing is going to be Shein clothes. I've stopped buying Shein clothes. I did this for quite a few times and quite a few videos because I was trying to see like different things and how I like them and different hauls. 
but I wanted up not really caring for like any of the clothes I got the ones I did like they wanted up getting destroyed when I washed them so I just stopped buying from that company altogether I do know that there are a lot of really good reviews and a lot of good items but I just didn't have any luck so I stopped wasting my money all together either sides were too big too small or it was just the material wasn't what I thought it was and I just gave up and number six is hair straighteners I have stopped buying hair straighteners if you have not noticed I have not straightened my hair in a very long time on my channel um, I just honestly stopped straightening it because of quarantine like I just there was no reason for me to do my hair um, I actually want my hair in a messy bun for like a really long time uh, yeah like I still do honestly let's just say that um, but I do take a little bit more better care of it I have seen a dramatic difference in my curls and my hair and the way that it bounces and moves since I have not used them so I just I don't plan on buying anymore I do have two of them I will be honest it's not like I've gotten rid of them I just don't plan on spending any more money if they break they break um, but I just I haven't straightened my hair but like once or twice in the year and I don't plan on doing it it takes too long it damages your hair it's just for me not really worth it um, I have curly hair beautiful curly hair and it turns out really nicely it's not I don't I don't know why I did it I just destroyed my hair for years for no reason so I just decided not to buy them anymore basically I probably won't be buying hot tools anymore at all um, waivers curlers or anything like that because I would straighten my hair just to use a waver to get beach waves on my hair when I have naturally curly hair. It was just a mess. I would just destroy my hair. So we're not gonna, we're not gonna do that anymore. 2021, healthy hair. All right, so the next item is going to be expensive makeup brushes. If you are not new here, my favorite makeup brush brand is Morphe. I love Morphe brushes. They're absolutely my favorite. Yes, you get some shedding. Are they perfect? No. However, I do think and appreciate the fact that they're very inexpensive. So I've only had to ever replace for the past, I want to say in the past couple of years, I've only ever had to replace like five brushes from shedding. So although I have had to replace a couple of those brushes, they're like $6 versus the $26 to $30 I was spending on MAC brushes long before I found Morphe. I just find that you don't need to have very expensive brushes you do need to have an array of brushes but they don't have to be the most expensive mac sigma whatever morphe is amazing ColourPop has some really good ones real techniques has some really good ones there are very inexpensive brands that make some pretty good um brushes so i just refuse to buy expensive ones anymore so the next thing is going to be micelle water um cellular water however you say it i just don't use it i don't like how it feels on my skin anymore i kind of feel like it dries it out as i use it to wash so right now i'm using a cleansing balm i do prefer the cleansing balms and cleansing oils over the micellar water i feel like it does really do more of a deep clean and breaks down a lot more makeup than the water does itself yes it's a little bit more inex or more expensive to use the clean genie versus garnier's micellar water but i feel like it just does a better clean in my face than that does so the next item is going to be a physical exfoliator i do not use physical exfoliators anymore it is really really bad on your skin it actually leaves abrasions on your skin it makes your skin drier so if you have dry skin using a physical exfoliator is yes essentially getting those flaky skin pieces off but it's actually damaging your skin more than it was before so you're just going to have dry skin again and it's a vicious cycle that you just don't want to deal with i have decided to go more towards chemical exfoliant so right now i'm using the yoglo by huda which is a papaya enzyme it does a lot better and it feels a lot better on my skin than me sitting there scrubbing it with either walnut scrubs or um the little beads it's just better for your skin and better for my face so i just i've opted out of not buying those anymore and i'm kind of glad that i did my skin has shown a very drastic improvement and also if it looks like i'm moving in different locations I am because this is the only way I can get my camera to focus on me don't so the last thing is nail polish Woo! so the reason that I stopped buying nail polish is because I either one get my nails done or two I don't paint them and they look like this this sad 
sorry excuse for nails yeah that's what it is that's I don't paint my nails so I was buying all this polish if it was on sale if it was at TJ Maxx if someone showed me and it was so pretty but the thing is I never painted my nails so I have a co-worker and a friend of mine who paints her nails and she does nail art her name is Molly I will put her Instagram down below super stunning work super cute so beautiful and I'm like ooh, I'm gonna go buy the ones that she's recommending because they're so pretty I stopped buying polish because I felt like I wasn't painting my nails enough and I have two huge acrylic drawers full of nail polish that I don't really use so she does amazing she's got so much polish and I'm just like oh my god I'm like I just wish that I just would get my lazy butt up and paint my nails but like I just don't of all things beauty I think my nails suffer the worst so I usually just go get them done but I just haven't lately but like I said I will put her Instagram down below it's so beautiful I don't know how she does it because I just I can't get this hand to look like this hand so like I just this is it this this no polish having self okay that is the shameful nails that I have so because I have my nails that way all of the time I find it very pointless to buy nail polish anymore so I've stopped buying nail polish I haven't bought nail polish in almost a year if I'm being honest it's probably been about a year and I just don't buy it anymore because I don't use it and I feel like it's just being wasted sitting there all right guys so that is it for today's video those are the 10 beauty items I am not buying anymore go ahead and comment down below and let me know what items you have realized that you stopped buying or what items you think that you should stop buying and why and as always guys make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and I I will see you on the next one. Bye.